guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hi welcome my name is Raya and thank you so much for tuning in today and today's video I have got all things pumpkin and pumpkin spice I was thinking I might integrate this into a fashion video or I might just have this on its own but I just think you need to see this if you are obsessed with autumn and anything pumpkin then you're gonna want to see this video it is like I've basically just done a pumpkin haul and I found some amazing things so I'm gonna get this up hopefully really soon so you guys can grab some stuff too so I'm gonna turn you guys around so on the door I've just got my wreath I don't love this wreath and like the bow is a bit kind of you know floppy but I'm gonna sort that out and get a nicer wreath so this is my little I haven't painted the stairs but this is just like my little autumnal decor which I think it's really cute this I think I might have got last year from Tesco's and then I've just like combined a few um, like leaves together artificial now I've got this beautiful little arrangement I got this from this looks very Gisela Graham but I just got this from the garden center I basically got two this was from home sense and this I can't find again but it was from a garden center so these are the same these are like the same so I've got two two um, and basically odd so they do say in floristry that you need or and design like odd numbers are really what you're looking for so anyways I got this as like a nice display and then I got these little pine cones these are just found on the ground um, these are from Gisela Graham I got these from the garden center this little tray I got from Zara home like a couple of years ago I never really used it and found I didn't find any purpose to it until now um, these I got from the pound shop so definitely check that out this is just a DW pumpkin uh, candle. And this huge thing is from Lidl. They've got really nice, amazing pumpkins. This is called a monster pumpkin. And I think it was like £2.49. So I bought two, but I need to do like a little display. So guys, this is one of my amazing finds from HomeSense. Uh, this is, I'll tell you the brand in a minute, but you know, um, Le Creuset or Stove normally sell this for like £200. Um, and this, I think I saw online, it's actually an American company. I think I saw it on eBay for like six, no, 70, 80 pounds. How much did I pay for it? I spent 29 pounds on this and it's such a good buy because it's suitable on all cooktops, including uh, induction, which I've got um, a Bora hob in my kitchen. And so I was looking for one that is suitable for this. Um, it does advise if you're using gas, then, turn the flame down because of the enamel but i am super excited to use this it's from the brand smith clark ironworks it's like a 2qt dutch oven enameled cast iron so you can use this for like suits um i'll probably wash this by hand and not put it in the dishwasher and like even to like make pumpkin i cook pumpkin a lot and I make it savory so normally like i would cook a pumpkin like green like this cut it in half and then put it in the oven bake it um, and then i'll cook it on the stove with like chili thyme salt and that's it really and it's just super nice it's nice with rice it's nice to make a savory pie um maybe i'll do that a pecan pie i've been really wanting to do like a home video i literally love and thrive off this oh and i have to show you something it's not new but if you guys you know don't want to go to starbucks um or make your own pumpkin spice latte then you're going to want to get yourself this syrup now you don't always find it in tesco's or sainsbury's try and see it this time of year but i would recommend just getting it online i bought this from amazon so i'm going to try and link it for you but honestly i've given my sister this um i've given her quite a bit and i've had this from last year so uh, look how much i've used this is a lot and i use because i don't have a lot of sugar now so i literally will have like just like one teaspoon um, of that to give it that taste or maybe two teaspoons so depending on how sweet you like your coffee but this is like the buy of i won't say the century but it's a really good buy um i love this i've been wanting something like this for so long it's not as big but you know what i think like my husband doesn't have soup so this would be good for like sauces 
little like pasta sauces that I'm gonna mix. I normally cook like a really big batch, um, but it's like a good size. So anyways, I am gonna show you some body and bath stuff now, but I might show you my living room actually, because I have decorated. So I don't know whether to film my video down here or whatever, but I got these pumpkins. So the pumpkin at the back is a monster pumpkin from Lidl and the other two are just from Tesco's. So the idea with this is to have levels, uh, different heights and levels for a pumpkin. You can do the same like outside your house. And it just makes all the difference when it's at a different level. Um, anyways, here I've got the garland. Um, I'll link where I got the artificial garland from. This is just one and then I've layered it with this one that I got from Tesco's. Um, these are just battery operated LED candles that look super nice. You had to press the button a few times to get it all on but this looks really cute um at like when it's much darker um these little like this is a candle that i use as decoration um these are from gisella graham these little tea light holders i got from h m and i just put battery operated candles in them because it's by the window um so yeah this is like my little decoration for autumn this i'm sure you would have seen before um it's basically just pine cones that i've collected off the ground and i've kept them in bags for years in the garage and they've been really really nice i think some of these i've like bought from this size from Hobbycraft, but like this i found i look at the size of this where I can, I love to buy organic. So I absolutely love these products that I've got. This is from uh, Amazon and it's by a brand called Organic Shop. They had a body butter, but this is a scrub. And when I say it smells beautiful, it smells like pumpkin spice slash oh, bubble gum. I wish you could smell this through here because it smells so good. Um, and then I got this massage oil i use this a lot not for massage but just when i come out of the shower i will pop this on and then maybe put a cream on top but for moisture i absolutely love this um a lot i love i'm really into body oils uh, maybe because of stretch marks i put it on my stomach and then it's just easier on a wet body to put oil on this was where did i get some from a shop called naturally thinking i will link it for you as well and it's made in the uk and i think this is uk as well i'm not too sure this is australian i i'm sorry if i butchered that accent uh, no offense to anyone um this is made in britain so i really like that and it was proudly made by dan it's got the batch number and the expiry so as you can see like dan you did a fantastic job because i love this it actually has pumpkin extract in here so i love that even more um and so so those are the things i've got online i literally went on like a crazy shopping spree for pumpkin i think it's because i don't know i just love the season and it gives me a little bit of joy um so i got this bath bomb from lush i'm sure you guys have probably seen it have probably smelt it but they had another bath bomb but i was being a bit tight so i bought this one because it was cheaper but the other one you could probably like twist and break in half um so this smells gorgeous so i'm gonna pop this in a bath um and what else did i get i got a couple of things from space nk um oh wait no this is from tk max so this is just a body oil this is gonna look really nice in my new bathroom um it's just like an olive not an olive oil it says olive on it and um it's a really beautiful bottle and like i said i like using oils on the body and so yeah i'd probably like use this again it's got avocado oil in this and when it like i will refill this with a nice body oil um when it's finished so this was 6.99 and it's just a beautiful little thing to have um if i can link it i will because it's not always on the website i've got i've been loving this hourglass eyeliner actually like if you guys like to wear um eyeliner like i've done a smoky look here i don't know if you can see 
but normally like it will transfer on the top of my lids has this done that today no this has not done it it is waterproof and it comes out like a really dark brown so if you want something lighter then this is like a blacky brown but i love this like a lot so i would highly recommend and then i got this thing called so fleur um i've been loving this i got this last time and i use it like a lot i got handbag size version of this and i just find it really helpful to like have a handbag sized one it's so beautiful vanilla skin i'm gonna pop into selfridges today to collect an order but like this is a great handbag size to literally just like pop in your handbag it's a little bit weighty but it's like it's fine in this bag so, so now this is back to tk maxx i'm not doing it in the right order am i but i got this now i wanted a little bottle to put in my ensuite for like shaving cream and i found this pumpkin spice shaving cream it was 5.99 it is made in the uk and i just love this how it smells pumpkin spice shave butter Ooh, ooh, that actually smells like a pumpkin spice latte like honestly i would like want to just like put my finger in and eat and lick that now i bought this I, I don't know what came over me but i love that i think this is made in the uk and it's got a, a batch number so i think that's really brill it's called mellows beauty um i will check if it is but i absolutely think this smells amazing um so next item so philosophy do a cinnamon i think they do cinnamon bun um and they do like fudge and everything but i for some reason can't find philosophy i think i used i actually it unlocked a memory for me where i haven't used philosophy in years uh like i'm literally talking about a good seven years and then they had like cinnamon bun when i was looking for like shower gels and pumpkin spice anyways this reminds me of the packaging uh for them just a tad uh pumpkin spiced pie and it smells gorgeous and i think yeah it's bath and shower cream it just smells so so good i think i'm gonna shower in my new bathroom today or maybe have a bath but i just love it it just looks so nice and with the colors it gives to that autumn decor you know that type of decoration then this isn't quite pumpkin spice but it is a nice bath thing to put in the bath and it's massive and i think this was 10.99 and it's like good to like refill you can put your epsom bath salts after if you wanted to these are just like italian sea salt um so yeah i'm gonna try this tonight in my bath but i'm gonna show you in the bathroom because it just looks stunning it's so cute in this little niche in my bathroom i just got i wanted to try a new salicylic acid face wash i normally use the inky list one but to be honest it's not really doing much for me anymore so i wanted to try super facialist i love their face cream a lot and so you know hopefully if this face wash is as good as their face cream then hopefully it should be good it's a purifying and refreshing face facial scrub um now on the subject of pumpkin pumpkin enzymes really good for exfoliating your skin and it smells good too and i think visage do that so i might pop a link or picture on the screen for you but i used that years ago and it really made a difference if you've got problematic skin then try that pumpkin enzyme is known for like exfoliating the skin and making it look and feel good um now i got these uh razors this was like 4.99 can you see it's got like a smaller razor to do like underneath the brow around here and then a bigger one to maybe then plain your face and things oh and i didn't show you my hairbrush now it's not again it's not pumpkin spice but it is new so i wanted to show it in this haul and i just got this off amazon um i don't i was a bit worried about boar bristles because i don't eat pork for like religious reasons and i was thinking boar i'm not sure if that's like you know good like for me to use but i mean it's just a hair bristle and i'm not consuming it so yeah and it's much cheaper than the mason pearson one or pearson i think it's pearson um so yeah i like how this makes me look my husband said like it hurt his head when he was brushing his hair but it didn't really bother me at all so 
so guys that is it from me for today i really hope that you enjoyed this video i really liked all things pumpkin and spice um my little body and bath haul as well and again i don't know whether to combine this or maybe i will just film it and put it out uh, but there will be a fashion video coming up so i'm super excited about that i uh, can't wait to see you guys soon and thank you so much for watching bye